Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Today we're going to look at the Origins deck from Rick Davidson. Now the Origins series was done as a Kickstarter project. Um, Rick Davidson uh, put it out as uh, something that he wanted to do, something that he was really uh, inspired about and it was really successful and a lot of people gravitated towards this Kickstarter and I backed it obviously and been waiting a long time for these decks and gotta say these are awesome. Uh, the Origins uh, decks, there was two of them. There was this black one, uh, black case, and it's the first edition. And then there was the limited edition uh, white deck called the Grail. Um, now the whole concept behind the Origins series was that uh, these cards were going to be a return to the 16th century, a return to the source of where uh, playing cards came from. And so Rick decided to uh, do honor to that with these two really high quality decks. You know, playing cards have been around for hundreds of years, and what we have today as our standard courts, um, they're kind of echoes, they're kind of shadows of something that uh, was seen and created maybe way far as back as the 15th century uh, in France. Slowly, all the courts and the pips and the suits that we used, they were all adopted and copied in England. And so uh, eventually, what we know as the standard deck of cards uh, spread all across the globe uh, and there's very little known about where they started from and where they uh, found their origins. So what Rick did is he decided to work with all of these different card historians and museums. He searched archives and he was trying to find uh, what he uh, called his original sources. And so he used all kinds of reference materials. Um, he researched the Bibliothèque Nationale of, of France. He had uh, contacts at the British Museum. He went through the archives department of uh, the Cyan Maritime uh, and even the Fitzwilliam Museum of Cambridge. Uh, so he did a lot of research on these. And so what you end up with is just something that's really uh, amazing. And uh, I, I love these decks. So we're going to take a look at both of them. So the tuck case on the Origins first edition is printed in a uh, gold stamped foil uh, all over. It's all embellished, it's all embossed, um, it's very gorgeous. It's all pressed onto this matte black uh, tuck case and it's just striking. It's probably one of the most beautiful tuck cases uh, I've ever seen. It says Origins first edition premium quality playing cards on the front and it says United States playing card company on the side and Origins playing card inspired by history on the other side. There's some ad copy about Rick Davidson uh, on the bottom. And the back design of the tuck case is this gorgeous uh, embossed rendition of the back design of the cards. And each tuck comes with a custom red seal. You'll notice even the inside flap has embellishments and embossing on it. And you'll have these two little fleur-de-lis uh, on the tuck flaps as well. So that's pretty much it for the tuck case. Now let's take a look at these cards. All of the cards in this deck were individually researched and custom designed. Uh, Rick printed this deck on Casino Quality B stock from the United States Playing Card Company, and it does have an air cushion embossing, and it does have magic finish. Uh, Rick also made sure that these cards were done at the quality control level of Q1, and if you'd like to learn more about embossing or cardstock, you can click this link. So the back design on these cards uh, originally drew their inspiration from all of the patterns and art uh, that we see from the 16th century. Uh, the elements are combined from different styles, including 16th century uh, wood cutting. And, and these historical cards just contained uh, a rich amount of beautiful detail, um, some of it which was lost, and uh, we don't even know what they look like. But the origins art is kind of this effort to retain the essence and the beauty of these patterns. You can see this big floral pattern in the center, and then the left and the right both have these long uh, swords uh, there. And then there's this little ribbon, if you notice, on the left and the right. Uh, that ribbon ends up being seen in repeated fans and spreads, and it makes for a really cool look that I've never really seen in another deck of cards. Also with this deck, uh, you're going to get two more things. You're going to get an Origins ad card. Uh, it's a little thank you uh, from Rick Davidson and it talks a little bit about uh, where the deck drew its inspiration from. And then you're also going to get a gaff card. It's a half king of spades and half queen of hearts. And this gaff card was actually inspired by a magic trick designed by Lee Asher. 
also going to get two uh, individual jokers. Uh, they're not identical. Uh, there's a black joker and a red joker, and you'll notice that they each have a different uh, beautiful face uh, that is also drawn inspiration from different 16th century designs. And you're also going to get uh, your four aces, and they're embellished with uh, just some subtle hints. Uh, the ace of spades, of course, is the largest one, the exploded back, and there's uh, the center artwork from the back design of the cards. And then the other three aces have kind of like exploding light coming from behind each of the center pips with just a subtle hint of uh, gold foil art within each of the individual pips. The court cards have all drawn inspiration from original 16th century art. Uh, if you uh, look through the Kickstarter or even look through the book that uh, Rick Davidson made, you'll see a lot of the inspiration that uh, Rick drew his inspiration from. And so these are all modeled after original 16th century courts that have been redrawn uh, just with beautiful imagery and beautiful faces by Rick Davidson. Hey guys, I just want to take the camera real quick and just give you a quick glimpse at the Origins playing cards. This is the first edition. These are the cards that have the golden back and have the gold metallics in the court cards. And you know, at any time you'd like, you can always slow this a bit down and just use your own camera controls so that you can take a longer and closer look. Hey guys, I wanted to show you a close-up of this Origin uh, collector's coin. You know, sometimes you see these on the internet and you don't realize just how big they are. So this is the collector's coin compared to a regular sized quarter. Um, so you can just, you know, really get an idea of just how big this is. And maybe you're thinking, well, what would I ever use this for? Um, it's good just as a collector's item, but it has a lot of weight to it too. So um, something like this would be really cool as like a dealer's chip um, if you're playing poker or uh, something like that. That would be cool. So yeah, that is the collector's coin for the Origins cards. So here's a close-up of the collector's uh, Origins postcard that you get with the campaign. Uh, this is a close-up of the vintage Queen of Clubs. And then the back side has the Rick Davidson uh, newer uh, revised version of the Queen of Clubs with a little bit of a description um, about uh, the artist. The Origins Collector's Book, that is an option, uh, is a little brief uh, introduction to the art and history behind playing cards. And as you can see, it's filled with all kinds of beautiful pictures and just a lot of text. And you can really see um, just how these cards came about. And Rick gives you a wonderful a history of playing cards, you know, where they came from. And he shows you uh, a lot of his inspiration behind uh, how the cards came about. And you really get a, a full story, uh, not only to the history of playing cards, but to the evolution of the Origins deck. Well, that is it for this deck review. If you'd like to learn more about these decks, the Origins decks or Rick Davidson, you can go to originscards.com. We always recommend that you can like this video just so other people can find it faster. You can also subscribe to our channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. You can also follow us on Twitter, which is twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy. You can also like our page on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.